Welcome back to KSNT News. I'm KSNT Storm Track meteorologist Christina Reese. And if you're just waking up with us, maybe it's because some thunder is over your home right now. We are tracking a couple of systems here. You can see this first line of showers and thunderstorms continuing to progress to the southeast. And then it looks like there's almost a little bridge between the two systems right now. The main cluster we're going to focus on right now is this one that's already in northeast Kansas. And in fact, there's even an isolated cell that's developed off of it that's impacting Franklin and Anderson County. It's moved out of Garnett as well as Welda and is progressing strictly more so towards the east. And the main threat with this as well as the bigger cluster of storms is locally heavy downpours and even gusty winds. We've gotten reports between 30 to 40 miles per hour and Max Track Radar is showing that it is starting to weaken on the back end. That's why that's just mostly heavy greens as well as lighter yellows. It's still heavy downpour, but not nearly as much as what we're seeing down in Abilene to the south of I-70 that's starting to enter into Junction City as right now. So if you're traveling to the west on I-70, you might run into some very heavy rain. In fact, Radar estimates have it well above 3 inches already. You can see 3 inches is depicted by pink, and it's getting into purple, which isn't even on our legend. That's just to really indicate how much rain's coming down per hour, and that's what makes flooding a concern. In fact, for Cloud County, who's seen the rain throughout the course of the past few hours, has an aerial flood advisory in effect. It's kind of hard to see uh, with the green line, but that is in effect until 7.30 this morning. Now, we'll track this out for you. It's progressing to the southeast, and it's starting to move a little faster, so the chance of flooding goes down just a little bit. It'll just, it's just entered into Manhattan. It'll be in Wamego by 6.40 this morning and closer to St. Mary's a, just a minute after 7 o'clock, so it's going to be a wet start to your morning. We'll track this out with future track. You can see by 7 a.m., it gulfs most of northeast Kansas, sinks to the southeast, and loses some of its potency. Now, this model by noon has us really drying out. However, with that line of showers and storms coming out of Nebraska, I think it has a chance to be very similar to yesterday with the northeast counties seeing some showers and storms if it holds together. Otherwise, we dry out nicely to end off the evening. So for today's forecast, the showers and storms will linger on. We'll be in the mid-70s. Now, as we get into the afternoon, the showers start to dissipate. Temperatures will begin to climb, and we'll top out at 88 degrees this evening, and we'll be mainly dry by that point. Now, our KSNT storm track seven-day forecast shows the rain will stick around for the first half of today primarily, and then that's really it for rain. You can see by Monday, we usher in sunny skies and temperatures in in the upper 90s, not only from Monday into Tuesday and Wednesday. And then as we end the work week, we're still hanging on to the 90s. Now, the best chance for rain looks to be next weekend. There's the slightest chance for Tuesday, but otherwise we're just going to be hot and dry once again with heat index values pushing above 100 degrees.